Welcome to my video to support chapter three of Social Media for Creative Libraries. And in this video guide, I'll be looking at Symbaloo and Pearl Trees. These are two tools that allow you to create guiding resources for your library members. So if we take a look briefly at the first of these, Symbaloo, you can see the way in which this works. I'm looking at my search engines tab and I have a number of different links to obviously different search engines at this point. I've created the tabs. I've given them my own personal color coding. So green is for general search engines, blue on the right hand side for social media search engines and so on. Symbaloo is a really nice, straightforward, and it's a free tool that will allow you to create resources to link to different places for people. And the other really good thing about them is you can share them as well. The second tool that I'm looking at is a thing called Pearl Trees. And again, this looks initially very similar because you've got the tiled approach. But what you can actually do with this one is put tiles within tiles and you can embed everything that you've done onto your own website, for example. So let's move on and actually have a look at using these things in some detail. So I'm now on my page at Symbolo for the search engines, which is the one that you've seen previously. Let's create a new page from scratch. Simply go to the plus option and we'll then get an option for creating a mix. I'll just call mine test and I can then add that. I now have a new completely free box with the Google search engine in the middle. Not my preferred choice, but it's a free service. So you take what you get. We can go to add a new tile. So I'll click on that to begin with. I can create a tile. So I'll click on that add the address of the website that I wish to go to. I can add a name for the tile, which will be taken from the website itself. So let's just cut that down to slip. I can show the text on the tile. I can change the color of the background as I wish to. So I find something that's suitable. I can then choose the icon. Um, I've got slip as an option there, or I can change it if I wish to, to make it a little bit bigger, like so. And I can then choose that one. Or if I prefer, I can simply stick with what I've got. I can also upload an image. So if you've got your own logos for example or clip art that you want to use you can do so once you've chosen what you want you can then click on save and that tile is now saved you can simply click and you will then go off to the website that you have chosen if we add a new tile from one of their collections uh, we can search for a tile so let's have a look for the BBC and I'll have a look at the BBC site itself and that's popped straight in and I can click on that and again I go off to the BBC page. I can move these tiles around, drop them wherever I want to so it's nice and simple and straightforward in that, that respect. There is one element that is really quite interesting which is that you can use Symbolo as an RSS or a news service. So let's add in a new tile and we'll create the tile. But this time, instead of it being a website, it's going to be a news source. And I simply need to type in the address of the page that I know has got an RSS feed to it. So I'm typing in my blog 
address. I can choose my text, so let's go with that one, a bit brighter color I think, and I can then click to save that, remembering that it's got to be a news source. So we've got the little RSS feed up at the top there. Click on save, and that has now been saved. The magic happens when I click on this option, and what I now get are all of the recent blog editions. This works for news resources, works for anything that can have an RSS feed with it. Once I'm happy with the tiles that I have created, I can then share the web mix and I can give the web mix a name, I can give it my description, I can make it publicly available or I can share it privately with my friends. I can uh, create a URL link for it and I can post it elsewhere and I can also share it on Twitter or on Facebook. So it's a really nice, straightforward, very simple tool to make it just that little more interesting and a little more easier to give people lists of URLs that they can then go off and have a look at. So the next tool that I'm going to look at is Pearl Trees. And this is my collection at Pearl Trees. Again, Pearl Trees is a free tool, but it does have a commercial aspect to it. You can use it without registering, but you do get to see adverts. If you register, then those adverts disappear. I'll go straight into, without any surprise here, my social media collection. And this pops up on the screen for me. You'll see that the background changes according to the particular image that I have on the screen. What I can now do is then go into any of those resources in detail. So let's have a look at Twitter, for example. And this is now a collection of tiles that I can use with Twitter. If I choose one of these tiles, this then pops up on the screen and I can edit it or share it, for example. And I can then click to go from one tool or resource to the next, to the next, and so on. It's a really nice way that you have of providing access to a variety of different resources. It's very easy to add a tool to your collection. If I go to my website to illustrate this to you, I can then go to my Pearl Trees option. I can click on that and I've got all of my pearl trees available to me. I can choose the one that I want. So let's stick with the uh, default that I've got there, which was the page that I was on, which is Twitter. I can click and that has now been added. While I'm here, you can see from my website that I've added in a pearl tree. I've embedded it onto my page. So this is now loaded. I can then go through that. So we could look at the social media search options, for example, and I can make this bigger or I can make it smaller as I need to. So really nice, very simple tool for embedding. If we go back to Pearl Trees and we've now added in the new resource there. I could then go off and click that and see the tool there. You can then see that you can edit what you've got, and if needs be, you can change the title or the image, you can duplicate it, or in this collect in this situation, let's just delete it. And so there we go, it's gone. I can add tiles to a specific collection, so I can just simply click Add here, and then choose whether I want to add a web page. I can also add in files, I can add in notes, I can add in photographs to make life a little bit easier, or I can create a separate subfolder or a collection of other links as would be appropriate. But since I'm happy with what I've got at the moment, 
I can ignore that. I can click on share and I can then decide if I want to embed it, get a permanent link, um, email it, add it to Facebook or any of the other social media resources that's available to me. I can decide if I want to team up with somebody else. So this would be great if you wanted to team up with any of the friends or colleagues that you've got so that you can create something between you. And you can also link a Perl tree to another Perl tree so you get a linking collection together. And it's basically creating your own web on the net. Once again, it's a very nice, simple, straightforward tool. It does what it should do quickly and simply and easily. And it's a really nice way of gathering together a variety of different links for you. So that's a quick overview of using both Symbolo and Pearl Trees, which I hope you found interesting. In the next video supplement, I'll be looking at a Scoop It guide um, and also looking at other tools that you can use to curate content. So until then, hope you found that interesting. Thank you very much.